My name is Neil Upadhyay, and I'm a video director and a post-production supervisor here at Electronic Arts. We're in a very privileged position because film is the popular art. It has the capability to reach the largest audience. It's taking the best of all the art forms that kind of came before it and using using it for one very potent uh, message delivery system, basically. I think that it's having a, a positive influence. The best things are now more important than ever because instead of picking between five and you have to be the best of five, now you have to be the best of five million. And that's a good thing, that's a good thing. And it's also a good thing that it's so easy to make stuff because it means that um, creative artists who the world may, ne may never have seen because they didn't have the access to 35 millimeter cameras and things like that, you know, now they have a chance to get out there. Well, right, right now, the things that are, you know, quote unquote, in, are the uh, the golden 300 wash, uh, the, the that greenish uh, modern warfare teal paint job, uh, uh, the J.J. Abrams lens flare, the Inception Brom, and of course you know seizing pandas. 300, for instance. Um, that idea of shooting the entire film on green screen and stuff. It had happened before. It was familiar, like uh, Sky Captain had done it. You know, Zack Snyder and company and Robert Rodriguez, they just started, they, they took it one step further where they're like, let's make it really, you know, emotion art, just like using the comic books almost as a storyboard. You can't be too many steps ahead of what the audience is expecting or th otherwise it's just too out there and weird. But when something is familiar enough to be acceptable, but new enough to uh, stick as unique. Um, that's what, you know, gets under, pe gets under people's skin. One of my favorite visual artists in, in film is, uh, is Terrence Malick. I think that his, he just does like moving tapestry in terms of his, his visual style. Outside of film, I'm a big fan of the artist Alex Gray. He does paintings of human anatomy, like veins and muscle systems and nervous systems within the body, but he also then uh, takes that super real element and uh, superimposes over it. I absolutely love that stuff he does. In fact, um, I have a tattoo of a third eye and it's in the style of Alex Gray. My knowledge of famous artwork um, probably influences me most in that I realize that there's a there's a process to creating it, you know, in even even people who are who are geniuses and savants, um, their work improved and grew and changed over time. You know, I think uh, the masterpiece isn't what you create. The masterpiece is the artist himself uh, expressed. And, you know, I've even heard people say that masterpiece or genius is borrowed. Um, you're, you're channeling something that's not just you. And that kind of takes the pressure off you a little bit because um, when, when you want to create, you just need to, um, you know, flow and take the judgment and expectation out of it. It's it's something that you can't force, but you can work very hard on a day-to-day -day basis to cultivate an environment in which creativity is possible. You know, you have your actionable items that you can do each day to make sure you're creating and fostering that environment. But then after that, the, the final step is, is having the patience to let things happen organically.